such a pleasure to be here with you, to be able to share, and that my intention and my, um, my desire in my heart is for you to be all that you are, free of all lies, all discrepancies, all depowerment, and the full blossoming, eternal blossoming of who you are, because you are eternity. Make success a habit. This is a topic. What does success mean, really? You're always a success, and yet most people don't realize that. They think, well, I failed there, or this didn't work out, so I must be a failure, or I didn't get a good grade on my test, or I don't know math, or... Um, you know, I've, I've had a failed marriage or it's no, all you do ever do is succeed in attaining whatever your belief system is, whatever you have accepted and agreed with since time immemorial and time being a game, time being when the beginning of a creation or the manifestation, you are beyond time. And how you make real success a habit, because we're creatures of habit, is that say that there is something that you want to do. And there, there's something you want to uh, accomplish. And there's something else you want to get rid of. Say there's something you really want to get rid of. You can't really get rid of something because the more you think about getting rid of it, the more you have it. It, it, it's like those, remember those Mexican uh, finger uh, games where you stick your fingers in this, this bamboo or this, uh, you know, this uh, made of grasses, this little thing where a little tube, you put your finger on either side. And if you try and pull this way, as you pull, it tightens the, the, the hold that this, the, um, what do you call grasses, dried grasses have on your fingers. The way to let go is you go for, you go together, stop fighting it. You, you don't, see with everybody, you try and get rid of the evil in the world because there is evil going on and there is, there is good going on. People say, well, you know, you're right. There is no good or evil. Yeah, that's just a, a belief system. No, in the spiritual realm at the level of who we are, there is no evil because what that is, nobody's living backward. You look at the word live, L-I-V-E, and then evil is E-V-I-L, showing that it's it's backwards. It's even how your eyes perceive out there, the eyes perceive upside down, and it's that ch chitra vritti, or that's at, which is what we call in the Vedas, but in the Sanskrit, but it's a, a an ability that the body has to then... To, show us everything right side up. But that's not how the eyes perceive that. But that's how it, it is shown to us. So you want to make success a habit. And that means to start taking your power back by giving up the words failure, because we all make mistakes. And and oh, until we don't, don't, don't make that an absolute or a blunt that says everybody, oh, no, that's not true. What is a mistake? And a mistake, a mistake is something that doesn't give you the results you thought it was going to give. It caused trouble. Um, it was a problem. It didn't work. It hurt yourself and others and all of this kind of thing. It's like, I, I love to go barefooted. And yet one of the challenges of barefooted and also why I do it, if you're not conscious, you can stub your toe and it hurts really bad when you hit stub it on a rock. And so I have all kinds of things that I do. I have my house at some levels as an obstacle course because anybody can just walk from room to room. But I've, I've got games for the cat and got things, people come and things. So I can bop around, see, and move around. And I can climb up over it and get up under it and all this because people say, well, I want, I want my air conditioning on all the time. You know, I got to have it just be like this. I got to have my lazy boy chair and my Budweiser and the TV and my woman next to me. Yuck! No, I'm joking, of course. Ha, ha, ha. Not really. Anyway, to make success a habit, you have to get that you're the master of manifestation. 
And you, you want to know how manifestation operates. You want to know how this reality operates. You want to know and be who you are. And then you want to be real clear about what your intentions are. And then when you find a mistake or an error or what you call was a failure or all of this, to take a look at what you, what you allow those kind of things to do to you, like make you feel terrible, make you feel bad, make you depressed, um, uh, uh, continually anxious, uh, and all of this. And all of this kind of emotional baggage that we have reacting, unfulfilled expectations, hope, hopelessness. It's going to be better tomorrow, but it's going to be like the past and it's never going to work. And, you know, all of these things you're, you're believing, these thoughts that flow through and what everybody else is saying and doing and what you're trying to accomplish and be good at, because it all comes down to the program to be good enough, supposedly. And, and so when you want to make success a habit, you decide, okay, what do I want to attain? And if you focus on just what do I want to get rid of, you could be there forever saying, oh, I, I don't like the way, I don't want to be around this person, or I don't like this, or this is bothering me, and I, I, this is bad, and always, always, always the same issue. And what you're doing is you're feeding that because you're giving it your power to, to control your emotions, to control what you do, how you're living. And so that's what's going to result. So how you make success a habit is focus on what do you really want. Well, I'd like to have peace of mind. Okay, great. A peace of the mind, or you want to feel good, you want to be calm, you want to be centered, you want to be, because say you don't want to be frazzled, because you could take a look, all the stuff I don't, I don't want to be nervous, I don't want to feel bad, I don't want to feel insecure, I don't want to feel like I'm not good enough, I don't want to be afraid, it's not going to, of course, but say, well, I want to get rid of fear, get rid of fear, you have to look at where does fear come from, it comes from the thoughts, comes from the words that you've accepted, comes from the memories of, of, of what you've gone through and what you've perceived other people have gone through and are going through, through media, through all of this to generate all kinds of chaos for the person. And, and this, this chaotic thing is showing you that when you have chaos within yourself, you're fighting against yourself. You're a failure you, or you're a loser. You're a winner, you're a loser. You, you're, you're a failure, you're a success. You, you passed, you failed, you didn't make it. You, you could have made it. You could have been a contender. Could have been better. And if I'd only been better, then he wouldn't have left me or she wouldn't have left me. I've been in all of this. Just get over it. This is, this is taking your life force. All things are possible to you. See, all things are possible to you. So notice what you want to get rid of. Notice that. What you don't want anymore. Something you're doing. Habits, practices, uh, uh, a, a condition in your life, a health condition, whatever it is. Notice what you, okay, now, what does it take to be healthy? What does it take to live where you want to live? What does it take to do the things you want to do? What does it take? Start doing it. Focus on that. Instead of focusing on what you don't want and who you hate and what's bad and what you, because you're then absorbed in this and you become that. You know, if you're focused on garbage, you become a garbage pit. If you focus on beauty and sweetness, you become sweetness and beauty. This is who you are. So, how to be and make success a habit is every day for at least 21 days, do the thing, remind yourself, say, I want to be calm around so-and-so. Well, practice breathing, breathe into your heart, notice what it upsets you around so-and-so, what is the trigger, what is the word, what are you doing? Well, they shouldn't have said that. They didn't talk to me the right way. They didn't respect me. They didn't honor me. Really? This is the story you're making up all the time and it's them? No wonder the people are a nervous wreck, okay? So work on that. Say, oh, okay, I'll do my breathing meditation. Look at something you can do every day for 21 days 
that is going to give you success. That means you are able to do that. Just like um, Michael is working on his guitar, our videographer, he's got a cool guitar. What does he do? He practices every day for an hour. Going, hey, that's that's great. That's all he has to do. And he knows what he's doing. Just every day, puts it down, go to do it. He's not saying, oh, God, I wish I could play a guitar. You know, it's just too hard. I'll never make it. Where is it going to happen? I won't be Segovia or I will. No, I'm going to practice every day. For one, Irving Berlin was one of the most prolific writers of, of music in, in America. And every day until I think he left this world and, you know, went on to do whatever he's going to do. But every day he sat at the piano and he wrote and played music, you see. So no one is stopping you. You can be, do and have whatever fulfills your heart as long as it's in alignment with good for everybody, including animals and human and earth. And when we do that and make a habit of it, your world is beautiful because you are. Thank you.